Afghanistan has seen severe winter weather, with temperatures plummeting to minus 10, hitting the most vulnerable. In the last two months, at least 28 children froze to death in slums. As conflict and insecurity have intensified over the years, the number of Afghans living in slums has reached a record high of half a million. Every day, 400 more people are displaced. Bari Kaab, 60 kilometers north of Kabul, was purpose-built for displaced families, but there's a lack of food, water, education and transport. The Afghan government prevents humanitarian organizations from giving effective aid, such as digging water wells, as this would imply the permanence of slums, making access to water a serious concern. Most women give birth in difficult and unhygienic conditions without the help of skilled birth attendants. This increases the risk of maternal and infant death in a country that already has among the world's worst maternal and infant mortality rates. When Najila became concerned during her pregnancy, she went to the community clinic in Barikab. Unfortunately, Najila recently lost another baby, this time during childbirth. Dr. Maruf Nouri explained to us that this is not uncommon. The community clinic is only open for part of the day. If people need care outside of hours, there's no car or ambulance available to take them to Kabul. The clinic is understaffed and lacks the skills and resources necessary. The clinic is hoping to get an ambulance and have longer opening hours soon. But up until then, these problems will persist. For some, the hardship has become too much and many houses are now empty. A lot of those families who've left went on to live in tents in Kabul. The capital alone houses as many as 35,000 displaced persons in 30 slum areas around the city. 50,000 children work in Kabul instead of going to school. Shashiman is 8 years old. With the help of his brother, he collects garbage. He sells it to scrap dealers to earn enough to feed his parents and 13 brothers and sisters. Those Afghans who fled to the relative safety of the cities are poorly prepared for survival in an urban environment. <laughs> <laughs> Oh 
Afghans now feel less secure than at any point in the last 10 years. The half a million who fled fighting are now at risk of starvation and death. They struggle in makeshift housing deprived of food, water and health care and are at constant threat of eviction. The Afghan government must stop looking the other way and start to deliver human rights to those living in slums.